Hey guys, Jim here from Drink a Beer and Play a Game. So in the past, we took a look at a monthly subscription box known as Video Games Monthly, which every month you give a certain amount of money, you get a certain amount of games delivered to your front door. Link above if you want to see our old video on it. So in keeping with that idea, today's video we're going to take a look at the Craft Beer Club, the monthly subscription-based box that every month will deliver 12 craft beers to your front door. Let's take a look. Before I get started, I just want to say this is not a sponsored video. My wife actually got this for me for Christmas this past year. So, she got me the three-month subscription. I think that's enough time to get an idea of what this box is like. So, I figured, what the hell, let's clue you guys in. And here... It is. Yeah, this is a pretty big box that they leave on your doorstep. The packaging is actually great inside, and there's a ton of goodies, so... Let's do an unboxing, show you what's in there, and then I'll give you my final thoughts. Alright, so when you open up the box, it actually is packed very nicely. It's got these molded styrofoam containers both on the top and bottom of the bottle, so everything's in there pretty secure. It also gives you these little flyers. It gives you information about the breweries that are within the box, and it also gives you information on each beer. So it lets you know about the ABV and the IBUs and what it's all mixed with. You know, all the stuff that I like to do in my little bit on the Power Hour about the descriptions of the beers. And when you take a look at the back, it gives you a nice little food pairing with the recipe included. And it also gives you some trivia about, you know, what's the Pilsner or what's the highest ABVs on sale. Stuff like that. So it's a cool little throw in there for all the craft beer fans out there. And also gives you an offer for the craft beer magazine. So that's, you know, take it or leave it. And since I got the three-month subscription, I got the personalized beer bottle opener. Which, it's pretty nice. Like, it's very sturdy, and I've been using it a lot since I got it with my first box, and I'll be honest, like, it's kind of weird to say, but it's like my go-to bottle opener at this point. It just feels like it's built to last. So, taking a look at the beers I got this month, I got two from the Hardywood Park Brewery and two from Hinterland. So, from Hardywood, I got the Single Pale Ale, the Vipa IPA, or Vipa, I'm not sure. And then from Hinterland, I got the Citra Pale Ale and the Packerland Pilsner. So, an IPA, two pale ales, and a pilsner. Not a bad little. It's kind of standard for what you get in this kind of box. So, the end of the day, what do I think of the Craft Beer Club? It's actually a pretty cool little service. So, the big thing is the price. It's $43 a month, which, for 12 craft beers, isn't the worst price in the world, especially since it's delivered to your front door, but not exactly cheap. If you go for the three-month plan, they add in a bottle opener that I already showed you. If you go six months, they give you a bottle opener and some koozies. And if you go 12 months, then they give you the bottle opener, the koozies, and 30 bucks off. So, it's not like a lot of other subscription boxes where the more you spend, the more you get for more value for your dollar. But they try to make it a little more enticing for the bigger ones. So, if I had a real complaint about it, it would be the variety of beers that you get. For the most part, you'll always get at least one IPA, you'll probably get at least one Pale Ale, and they might give you two IPAs, they might give you two Pale Ales, that's generally what I got. And then it'll either give you a Pilsner, or a Blonde, or even a Lager. So, they don't really stray too far from those kind of basic types. Like, every brewery has an IPA, so it makes sense that you would get that, but I was hoping to see, you know, maybe there would be the occasional Hefeweizen or Stout. Maybe a double or a triple. Maybe, you know, more obsession-y kind of beers. And I, I just thought for the money you're spending, it would be nice to see a little bit more variety in the types. But the plus side of this is it gives you a really easy way to try beers from all over the country. So if you're one of those people who are, like, really big into untapped and, you know, filling out your beer list of stuff you tried, this is a great way to do it, especially if you don't travel much. And hey, as I'm recording this, we're in the middle of the coronavirus pandemic, so I'm not going anywhere. So if I want to try more beers from around the country, this is the best bet. So speaking of the pandemic, as it's going right now, they are still shipping. They are saying there might be a little bit of a delay by one or two weeks from when you're going to get your boxes, but they're still doing it. And since you really aren't going to be traveling anywhere anyway, this is a good way to experience some more beers that you pretty much wouldn't be at this point. Since we're all locked down and a lot of businesses are shut down, Breweries are hurting right now. I mean, there is a huge boom, but this pandemic could kill a lot of these small businesses. So 
If you wind up liking these, this is actually a pretty decent way to keep some of these afloat since they're still going to be getting some business. So there's always that upside. So that'll do it for today, guys. As always, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like below. Leave us a comment. Let me know. Have you used a beer service like this before? Have you used this one? And if you have, what have you thought? And if you haven't used them yet, would you sign up? Uh, personally, this might be something... I think there's some other ones out there, so I might want to explore them too down the line, but... I think overall this is a pretty decent service. It's not like a home run, but it's pretty good for what you get. And as always guys, check out the links to our other videos where we have video game reviews, hardware reviews, and we are the home of the Power Hour podcast, which is also on iTunes. Till next time guys, cheers.